company? Well, we're going to start with treats that are out of this world. And I really mean that. Joining me in the Cocoa Kitchen, co-owners of Black Box Bakery, Ariel Israel and Ty Webb. Hello, good morning. <laughs> I, good morning. I like that. <laughs> How are you guys? We're good. good. We're awake. Well, we were uh, hearing great things about you guys as we were getting this kitchen segment ready today. So, Ariel, I'll start with you because I read that you started Black Box as kind of like a side gig. Did you ever think it was going to blow up and be this popular? Um, that's always the hope, right? Of course. But um, I was just trying to get, a, get it done, you know? Yeah. Uh, we were working in a restaurant at the same time. We were trying to do this. All of our kitchens were kind of pastry to to rent swaps. Mm -hmm. So we were kind of just doing everything all at once. Um, and my focus was just making good product, yeah. making sure people taste it, and just, yeah, having fun. Well, I think you did a really good job. I mean, look at this deliciousness we have here. Let's talk about your passion for pastries. What kinds of creations do you dream about? And are you constantly thinking of new things? Um, I'd say it comes from, like, everyone. Like, Ty will come up with just random stuff and we're like we're gonna <laughs> yeah. see if we can make it happen you know so like we have this Reuben uh, croissant that basically came from mm -mm. my love of Reuben sandwiches and I was like okay. we can we can do this right and yeah. we just you know went for it so oh. uh, yeah the, the flavors the shapes everything comes from just listening to to our team and and our brains and having fun with it. And Ty, what do you dream of sometimes when you're like thinking of some, maybe something new? Yeah, uh, basically, so I, my home base is baking everything, right? Okay. So I'll bake or I'll fry. So we, on Saturdays and Sundays we do donuts and I'm from Texas and my loyalty resides with Shipley's Donuts. So I kind of <laughs> get a lot of, I get a lot of inspiration from them. So okay. like, for example, we, we had like a Rocky Road ice cream uh, flavored donut on the yeah. weekend. So I'm really big into ice cream. So sometimes we'll like try and combine some of those flavors. Ice cream is good stuff. What, yeah. what part of Texas? Fort Worth, Funky Fort Town. Worth. Okay, yeah. Fort Worth, Texas in the house. Okay, well share what you have brought with you today. I just would not even know which one to go with. They all look delicious. Uh, okay, so starting with the purple, right? That's ube. That's the people's mm -hmm. pastry right there. It's an ube <laughs> flavored cruffin. Okay. And then uh, that white swirl over there is going to be our orange anise swirl. That's oh, jammin'. This one, okay. And then going further, uh, we have the chocolate croissant. Next to that, we have the... Uh, it's our Cacio e Pepe cheesy leek swirl. Mm -mm. And then next to that, we also have the uh, orange jasmine swirl. And then coming back down, we have the kiwi coconut cream danish. I uh, like that combination. We call it a brekkie. Okay. Mm, it's so it's, good. It looks so good. <laughs> okay, and for some reason, this one uh, catches my eye. Strawberry this... lemonade. That is the okay. most popular during the summer. And then if we're moving closer in, we mm -hmm. also have our mini cube. We're known for our mini cubes. The so mini cube, so which is this right here. That's okay. correct. What's in the mini cube? It's going to be a pistachio cream. So we'll, we'll do pastry cream with uh, mixed with pistachio extract or filling. It's, paste. it's like okay. a paste. Okay. Uh, and it's filled all the way up on the inside. Oh, my God. Yeah. And is this a pickle? Yeah, absolutely. A tiny <laughs> little Sean. pickle. That is adorable. So what is this one going to taste like? Reuben, that's, okay, that's that, Ariel's oh. favorite. Yeah, <laughs> I could have guessed that. I like that one, but if I had to go with one, I would go with this one right here mm -hmm. or this one, the one that I said just catches my eye. Now, this kind of pastries, I believe uh, our executive producer was saying that it's laminate or along laminated. those laminated. Yeah. What does that mean? So that's uh, how the process of making a croissant, for example. Okay. Uh, you layer butter and dough, and that's the lamination process. So, oh. yeah. You basically flatten the dough, equate it with the butter, yeah. and then um, fold it in certain ways that create yeah. layers. Yeah. Well, here's something really cool. You just introduced chocolate to the menu, and you've got a special chocolate treat for springtime and Easter. You guys at home, check this out because this is awesome. What is this right here? Uh, so this is our chocolate line, the Properties of Coco. Um, okay. We're doing uh, Easter eggs for okay. Easter. I love it. Um, okay. So we have two flavors. We have the caramel, and uh, it has kind of like crunchy pearls inside. Uh -huh. Uh, and then the s'mores, which which has like all the classic components of s'mores oh, layered yes. within the egg. And so what yeah. do we do with this? So you can smash it. You can 
uh, throw it if you want. Can <laughs> we smash it? Yeah, you're welcome to try. I mean, so how do we do it? So just, just grab it. Grab yeah, it, and okay. And then see if you. Uh, <laughs> smash that it. didn't do so it. Should I go ahead? Yes, do it. Oh my gosh. Uh, so inside you can see we have layers of caramel and crunchy okay. pearls. That looks so good. Are these on sale now? You can yes. get them at Black Box. We only have a few left because we've been doing the pre sale. <laughs> we um, should have cracked this but one. But snag them, snag them before <laughs> they're snag gone. Snag them before they're yeah. all gone. Uh, talk about an awesome surprise for the kiddos this Easter. So glad you brought that into the menu. Okay, everyone, it is Black Box. If you want some delicious pastries out of this world, Black Box Bakery, go check them out today and have the Easter chocolate egg or whatever it is that you wanna try that was up here. Thank you guys so much for being with us today. That was awesome. Okay, and also they've got Easter brunch and don't forget their properties of cocoa treats like their delicious dynamic egg that we just broke. All you have to do is go to blackboxbakery.com and you'll find all that information there.